hello everyone before we start with the tutorial let me give you a little preview of the website from where you can download the Revit families and blocks and use them in your architectural and interior design projects all of these uh, family files which you are seeing here are fully parametric and as I have mentioned here there are these windows center tables doors and also these folding doors which you can rotate at any given angle now a new addition are these sofas these are not parametric uh, these are non parametric families but uh, each set contains a three seater sofa a two seater sofa and a single seater so that uh, you can use them in your you, uh, in, in you can use them in your interior design projects and also if you want to look at the detailed design of these families and also you want to see how the what are their dimensions and how the parameters work then you can go to this tutorials tab and then watch these videos to have a better understanding of the families and from this shop tab you can buy these products now let's move towards our tutorial for today in today's tutorial i am going to create this container house using the wall command so that you can easily place the doors and windows within within it but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start the tutorial open a new architectural template file in Revit and select the wall command from the architecture tab then click on edit type click on duplicate and give a thickness uh, give sign a name to the uh, the wall and let's give it a thickness of 40 millimeter you can assign the material from here as well and then connect this to level 2 and let's create the walls for the container the simple walls a rectangular one okay so here we have our walls and then let's place a four columns on all the four edges as they are in the container let's keep the its dimensions as 4 inches by 4 inches and place it on all the four corners now after placing these four columns go to the structure tab and from here select this beam command and then click on load family and then go to structural framing folder and let's uh, load this timber for timber B but obviously you can change its material and make it a non wooden B let's change its dimensions to 4 inches by 4 inches as this is what I want the dimensions to be and then using this pick line tool set the beam uh, to level 2 and place the beams on these four sides as you can see in the video make sure you have placed them on level 2 then this is how they have been placed on the walls now select the floor command and you can create any type of floor you wish for and set they are uh, the, the level to level one and lock and lock all the four sides for the rectangle so that if you change the dimensions of the wall the floor will move along with it so we have our floor walls and columns but as you can see they kind of overlap with each other so select this wall and set the base offset uh, so top offset as minus 4 inches so that they are not overlapped with the beams and also change the 
is at the top of set of the four columns and also its base offset so base offset is going to be minus 5 inches and the top offset is going to be minus 4 inches so that they are joined with the floor and does not overlap with the beam so now we have the basic structure and now we need to create the details within it for that open a new family template file of the profile open it and here i'm going to draw the profile uh, for this container as you can see in this image these are the dimensions which i am going to use so i'm going to create only one uh, only one uh, part of this profile and then i'm going to repeat it so this is what i'm going to uh, create the profile uh, so as you can see here how I'm going to draw that profile. So here we have this enclosed loop. So save it and load it into the project. Then go to the north or south or but any of the elevation. And then I have used select this wall reveal command and click on edit type, duplicate it, and let's say name it container wall sweep. And then from here select the profile which you have just loaded into the project set it to vertical because we want it to be vertical lines and then simply place it and click on restart reveal so you can see that it has created this opening within it within the wall so here i have i want it to be on the other side of the wall as well so i have just simply mirror it in the floor plan let's move it a little bit yes it is going to be like this and let's mirror this this wall reveal and instead of copy pasting and mirroring each one of them let's use the align command and here let's just add the number of panels reveals which we are going to need on this side of the wall let's say it is 22 or 21 so now after that select this one and again use the array command so that they are copied on the other side of the inner side of the walls wall as well so I am going to repeat this step on all the other remaining three sides of the container to create this design and give it a look of the container house. So here is what I have, it looks like as I have placed the wall wheels on all the three sides using the array command. now let's create the roof for that select this component and model in place and here select the roof click ok ok and select the extrusion command set the reference plane to the surface press tab button if it does, does not appear and then and as you can see in the video i'm going to create the profile for the extrusion as you can see here 
the dimensions which I am using here are the same one which I have used to create the profile for the Volvo wheel. Now simply copy it uh, to create a one roof. Now select the offset command to give it a thickness, let's say 1 by 8 inches. And if you press tab button at this point, the offset will be created on all of the lines. And now let's close these sides. And now by using these arrows, you can adjust the starting and end points of this roof. Okay, so now we just need to place the doors and windows within this container house and as you can see I have created the walls using the wall command so it is it is going to be very easy to place the doors and windows within it. So go to the level 1 floor plan select the door command and you can see it just click anywhere you want and the door will be placed there. So let's place these two doors and similarly select the window command and then you can place the windows within it and you can see that the wall reveal has automatically adjust according to the opening. So now select the wall command a window command and place the window anywhere you wish within this. And again you can see that the wall reveal has automatically adjust itself according to the window opening and the door opening and I want to align the window and when I change and when I change the position of the window you can see that it is very easy to do that the opening or the wall wheel or the wall does not hinder anything so mainly if i am if i am designing a container house i use this technique and this steps these steps to create it to create that design
and this is how the final product looks like and i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe